Hi everyone, welcome to today's tutorial where I will be teaching you how you can make this simple invitation for a meditation workshop. Right? It's super easy to do and let's see how that's done. For this video, I will be using the same document size which is an A4 size document. I will go to file, click on new and this comes up right. So this A4 size document is 210 millimeters by 297 millimeters. I let the orientation be portrait and I will give a name to the document as well. Invitation and create. All right. So first thing I want to do is to create the background yeah so I we have to make this background color so I will be renaming the first layer double click on this and rename this to background I'll remove the fill and Go over here to this fill option and yeah, it's on this orange shade for now. Let's just grab this and take it approximately this peach shade. Click on OK. Choose the rectangle tool and just click and drag my mouse across the doc our document like that. Yeah, so it's a little bit more darker as compared to this other one, right? So let's change this a little bit more. Go back and double click on the fill and just re-drag it to a lighter shade like that. Yeah. Yeah, so this is much more closer to what this one is. So this is a lighter shade and this is a slightly more darker shade, right? And I'll go ahead and lock this layer as well create a new layer double click on this and type in mandala since there is a mandala image right here on the top right so i'll open the image first to do that i'll go to file open and open the image that i had used which is this one So I'll just drag this to the document that we are working in and just close this document as well. So notice like if you want something like this or image like this, make sure that the image is in a PNG format means that it has a transparent background, right? So that when you take your image over to your document like that it easily blends in with the background color as well right so i'll just rotate this like this okay i'll just click on shift and alt to make this bigger bring this to the middle like that and probably make this a little bit more bigger by clicking on shift and alt and dragging it like that bringing this down like that so it fits perfectly right here and I'll go ahead and lock this layer as well and I'll create a last layer which says text okay so now i will go ahead and type in all these texts right here so i'll go over here to this text tool i do not require the fill i let the stroke be black and just create one box like this delete the dummy text and type in you are Delhi 
invited for select the text and make this a little bit more bigger i'll make it 26 wait let me check the text size of each box this is 30 i'll reselect this go over here to this font size and make it 30 I will reduce the box size as well since I do not require this extra space like that and make this centrally aligned like this. Right. Did for meditation workshop. Okay. Go back to the text tool and make the second box like that. Delete the dummy text. I didn't Sure. I'll select this text and I will change the font size as font style as well. And I'll choose this Gabriola. Change the font size again to probably 48. Like that. Since it's already centrally aligned, I do not have to make any other changes. Choose this first one. I'll make another copy by clicking on Alt and then just dragging a text box like that. Now it says timings and address. I'll zoom in. Delete this. Timings is from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. I'll increase the box size as well since I want to add the address right below the timings for timings. Address is house number. 12 first floor, New York. Number 12 first floor, New York. Let's change the font size as well. So this timings is 36 and this is 28. So I'll select this and make it 28. This one as well. 28. And let me see the font as well. This was Chapel Pro. Let's select all of this and change the font style. Yep, make this 36, make this 36 as well, this was also Chapel Pro, like that. Reduce the box size. I'll bring this down a little bit more. Bring this a little bit just to give it more space. And the last thing we want to do is add this small box which says you are requested to wear comfortable clothing and bring your own yoga mats. Okay. So I'll just take this box and just copy paste it right down here. Yes, you are requested to wear um, table thing and 
your own yoga mats so i'll just change the font size to 28 12 to 28 just like that and just bring this down like that so let's just give it a proper spacing to all the texts now you can bring this one here this one right here meditation and like that this looks a lot better now so with proper spacing like that and the last thing we just have to do is add these lines on the top and the bottom as well so we'll go to the line tool do not need the fill and i will change the stroke to orange just click and drag my mouse up to the end right here make another copy by clicking on alt while my line is still selected down like that and just increase the stroke weight from one to three and there you go our simple invitation is now ready so now let's go ahead and save it to do that we'll go to file and click on save as so by default our document will be saved as an adobe illustrator file and i let the file name be invitation as well and i'll click on save and okay so now that our document is also saved as an adobe illustrator file let's also save this document as a jpeg format so that you can easily send this send this invitation across on various messaging apps such as whatsapp and messenger right to do that we'll go back to file and this time go to export and export as so the file name remains the same but the save as type comes in a really different format you do not want it as an autocad drawing so you click on this drop down box and click on jpeg so once we do that and we click on export i let the quality remain high and i'll just increase the quality like that to eight it looks perfectly fine to me and just click on ok and that's it our document is also saved as a jpeg format and as well as an ai format so now that we have come to the end of our video i hope you found this tutorial to be useful and by using the similar tools and images you can create various other invitations as well such as a housewarming party, birthday parties, Halloween party, Christmas party, baby showers or anything you want to create and invite for. And that's it. There you go. So I hope this video to be useful and with a little bit of practice you can soon make various invitations without any problem at all. Thank you for watching and keep practicing.